Whoa. This feels weird. I haven't been in this room in a while, by the way. It's so weird. It's like a tiny, tiny little office desk. And there's like, I'm stuck here, I guess. There's no way for me to get out. Uh, <laughs> world's adrift. Hello! I should have probably given that intro first. Uh, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play of Surgeon Simulator VR Experience Reality. Uh, now I know what you're gonna say. Another VR game. Well, I wanted to do something that was a VR game because I love this. I love playing these VR games. It's very nice. And I thought, what better game to play? What better game to play than a game where you're a surgeon with weird hands and you just perform surgeries? Let's slide that in. It doesn't matter. It's controls, but that's for the PS4 controller, which I'm not using. I'm using the move controllers. So I can move around. It's like hands. I can draw. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's probably fine. So we're going to do surgeries. So we're going to do the surgeries for the... Congratulations. You've won a holiday to to Pyongyang, North Korea. Please enter your credit card details now to claim your prize. Shut up. I can't even throw correctly in this game. Oh, my hands are weird. So, you may notice that I have a very great reach. Um, I can go really far. That's because I'm in the setting for, yeah, the long hands thing. And the reason why I do that is just because I only have so much movement before it says, no, uh, uh the camera can't detect that. So, I like that setting because there's a lot of moments in this game where... Hold on, my VR headset's foggy. There's a lot of moments in this game where you have to reach your hands really far out to, like, get certain tools and whatnot. And I don't want to do that. So luckily they added that setting for VR players. But, uh, whatever. We're gonna start. We're gonna start with the heart transplant, which is usually the easiest one to do. But we'll see what happens. Alright. So first of all, we're in the operating room. We're actually in the, in the morgue place that Batman was in his VR game. Uh, as you can see, very similar looking. This guy's name is Bob. For some reason, I'm in a poorly lit OR, by the way. But this is Bob. My only goal is to save his life. So we're going to start by opening this weird bony rib cage that's doing nothing but being an annoyance. So my favorite way of opening up the rib cage is with this saw tool because it does a good job cutting into the uh okay whenever he's losing just jab him with this he's no longer bleeding okay he's kind of bleeding who cares we're gonna go with it We only have so many ribs. There you go. Now I can get rid of this. Or I can put it on your face. Can I drop it on my face? No, it just falls right through. Okay. Uh. You, you don't need this long, right? This is not necessary to live, right? You can just take this out. Actually, why would you need both? You seem to be just fine. What is this? Disgusting. How could he have this liver? I'm gonna eat it. Let me eat it. I'm gonna eat this liver. I ate a liver, and now I'm gonna cut the stomach. See? Doing just fine. Oh. You can wear it as a necklace. Actually, I'm gonna do that later with the, ne uh, with the next operation. There you go. This is your little, little thingy. Oh, it's yours, not mine. Heart's gone. Time to stab you with the stabby thing. There you go. And now, all that's left. I don't like you. Interesting. Ah, yeah, whatever. New heart. Splat. Splat. You put it until the game recognizes it as a successful operation. Hold on. It seems it may have a bunch of unnecessary things in you. We don't need this. I don't need, I don't need this piece. No. I have so many bits of calcium. 
You don't need these. You can just get rid of these. Okay, slam the heart. Slam the heart. There you go. Looks fine to me. Sure, he'll live. Yeah, he probably will live. Oh, yeah, and they have balloons. Ah, I want to grab a balloon. The fun thing about balloons. Haha. <laughs> Ah, it didn't work. Okay, back to menu. Okay, so first of all, it's more rib cutting. It's more unnecessary riblage. Cut the McRib. Uh, see? He'll be fine. Ah, my hand! Where'd my hand go? Oh. Ah, that probably won't be an issue. Uh, nah, it's fine. He'll live. Okay, fine. I'll give you a little injection thingy. Which, by the way, that's what it does if you inject yourself with it. Woo. And that makes sure that my blood doesn't get messed up. There you go. Wake up! You're not supposed to be asleep for this. Again, interesting. All of this music. For some reason, the music in this game slaps. Just for no particular reason, it just does. Ugh, weird ramen noodle something. Okay, it, no. Gimme. Nuh-uh. Get out. All of you get out. Including you. I'm gonna eat you again. Don't mind that. I'll pick this random thing. You know, this is much easier than the original game. Because it's like actual surgery. Except it's not because I'm just mutilating this guy. This guy is supposed to be dead by now. Imagine if surgery was this short and easy. Modern American healthcare, I guess. <gasps> Ugh. I just, I just need to. I just need to get rid of that. One fava bean in, the other one out. Yeah! Bring on the balloons. Where's the? I want. Where are the balloons? Alright, back to menu. Something's bound to happen. So we're... Oh! That is so much louder than I remember. But look, we have a convenient little headset. Can I put it on? How do you put this on? Uh oh. Oh no! I can do this in the dark. Oh, there you go. So, Batman just arrived, and he, I guess he messed up the power grid. I don't need this. I don't know that. So we're going to perform brain surgery. Well, it's in the middle of the dark, because it's totally not scary. Some good music. I wonder if this music will get me copyrighted. Okay, all I need is this. The only problem is... As soon as I jab at the brain, it's gonna lose a lot of blood. But I miss, it's not like the original where you could use a hammer. Don't worry, I'm a professional. I know how to do this. Okay, he's losing blood at an alarming rate. Dude, stop dying. I just need to get your brain to think it's not your brain. Oh, there you go. Uh, okay, okay, stop. you can stop losing blood now, sir. Dude. Now that we got your brain, I can't grab that for some reason. We're gonna take some of these bad boys and just go... 
And just one more Jabba for good measure. And one get out of here. See this brain? It's very... It's so deformed I can't even grab it correctly. That broke. I just plop it anywhere. Don't even put it. It's fine. The brain's just a waste of time anyway. We can just go on back to the main menu. Oh, I hate this. He doesn't have any support on his head. But it's gonna be easy. We first need to get rid of these bad boys. I don't want to jab him. There you go. Turn your head. Don't make me do this to you, man. Where are they? Thank you. Should not be doing this with my left hand. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's cool. I could press buttons and think I'm doing something. Now for the gross part. And do it for the other one. Which is not working. Whoa! What? And it was going so well. Alright, restart. This is dumb. Alright, try again. I have no idea how this works. Just poked right in the eye. Well, okay. I drill it out, because that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to kill this guy. Why is it not working? Stay stuck in his eye. I'm supposed to jam scissors. There you go. Okay. Don't die. This is the worst. This is the hardest part of the procedure. Come on, man. Stop dying on me. I just... Listen, all I need is for you to... There you go. Stop dying. Oh. Made it easier on myself. I know this is supposed to scoop it out. Oh, wait, no. I don't need to waste my time on that. I have an actual scooping device. For some reason, this is very buggy. We're a very unconventional way of grabbing this. That's what you get. That's part of your uh, health bill now. Because that's what you get for making this so much more difficult than it should be. Cut the eyeballs out. I'm not supposed to use this tool. Or am I? I just need to cut this eyeball out. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> Great news! The surgery was a success. Oh, I can actually do LASIK. Uh, before I finish this... Eyeballs! Now that we have all these eyeballs... I guess I'll have to slowly jam it in. This 8-ball eyeball really goes with your eyes, which you currently don't have. And a smiley face. Come on, Bob. Work with me. Yay! How did I do really terrible on this? I don't know. I really don't know. Oh my gosh, I remember the music for this. This is probably the coolest sounding music. Out of all of them. Oh, thank gosh you're asleep, Bob. Can I see your eyes? Can I see your teeth? Oh, I can. Oh, it's all horrifying. Can you see the rest of your body? No, they didn't model that in. I need to hold this. I I'm trying to hold it like a conventional person would. But I realize it's not a conventional game. Oh, you have a couple broken teethies. Nothing a little hammer can fix. Hey! 
Hey, that worked out just fine. Look, you have a little, you have a couple souvenirs. Hey, wow, that worked. Okay, so you're missing a couple teeth. What is this? This is grinders. You're not really having grinders. Not grinding season. Can I hold this correctly? Chompers. Okay, you're just using all the ridiculous names. Terrors. Okay. I'm gonna. This tooth. I'm gonna give you one of each. Hooray! Wow, that was very short. Literally a minute and a half. <laughs> Jeez, that is scary. All right, back to menu. All right, well, because we're done with the OR things, I'd say this is where I'm gonna stop the episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.